Hello Bridgeview Learning Community. This is Mr. Hyatt coming at you with our weekly update. I want to first emphasize that we have had just awesome weather this week and we are thankful for that. That brings about uh, a message that I just want to send out in our community to remember to continue to practice those three W's. Wearing a mask, washing our hands, and waiting, being patient, and making sure that we're physically distant. We don't want to become complacent and sometimes this weather can drive us to get in uh, groups and, and maybe forget. And so just reminding students to be responsible and that's a nice segue into that pillar of responsibility that we've been emphasizing with students this week, our green pillar in our character counts pillar, pillars. And uh, one of the things we've been emphasizing with that is making sure that that day at home of learning is taking place, that they're using checklists and becoming organized and able to manage that. With the decision that we will be extending our hybrid model, it's extremely important that our students continue to get explicit direction in how to be responsible. So we appreciate your support in helping them learn how to be responsible as well. Last, we just visited our science classroom and uncanny timing, their lesson today was learning about bacteria and viruses. And so I hope you enjoy this little clip of what's happening in our science classrooms at Bridgeview. Thank you and have a wonderful week. Have you guys ever gotten swabbed for like um, strep throat? Yeah. And they stick it in and then they put it in that tube. They're actually growing that bacteria so that they can see, you know, what strain is it, what exactly does it look like? Anybody have to get a COVID test yet? No, my mom, my, my dad lost it too and it like stuck all over his nose. My son has had his laser treatment on his face and he's had to get two and I cringe. They stick that thing way back. Yeah, this. So when you have COVID, for example, their newest, latest research search is saying that that virus gets into one of your white blood cells, the white blood cell that is responsible for passing oxygen through your body. That's why people with COVID have such lung troubles and breathing troubles, because they can't get the oxygen because of this virus. Because you guys are going to play doctors today, or you're gonna be like Nurse Strobe today, I don't know. You can decide. So if you have your glue sticks with you, open up your notebook, you're gonna to wanna to put this in. I'm gonna go through a couple of these with you, how to do it, then, you guys are going to go on your own and finish them. So we'll do like Susie, Harrison, and Lily together, okay? So you have to help Milo. Remember at the beginning, they talked about, I think that story was so long ago, talked about a sickness in school. So we are going to continue. As you guys are hunting for things, I'm going to go ahead and read. Lily comes into the office complaining of a bad stomach ache. She is cold and clammy, but she does not have a fever. She does end up throwing up once while she is waiting for her mom to come pick her up. Lily says that her stomach has not felt right since they got back from dinner at the new restaurant last night. She was really looking forward to art class today. She hates having to leave early. Look at that patient symptom chart I gave you. Find Lily's name and look over. You see on the top, the top row, it's all the symptoms that there possibly could be. Like all those symptoms you read about in the boom card. So you'll notice that Lily has been checked for a stomach ache and vomiting, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on to the next patient. Susie. Susie has had a dry cough for two days. Her throat is a little sore, but only when she swallows. Her mom seemed concerned when she dropped her off at school this morning. By the time Susie visits the nurse, she has a fever of almost 102 degrees. She feels chilled and weak. Susie is headed home to get right to bed and is upset because she will miss play practice. She was hoping to get in some extra practice with Nigel again as they have a big scene together. All right, so let's go through. Did Susie have a headache? No. No. I 
thinking of the next one. Okay. Does she have a red sore throat? No. Her throat is a little sore. Yes. Yes. Okay. The next one, cough. Does Susie have a cough? Yes. Yes. Susie has had a dry cough for two days. Does she have a stomach ache? No. no. Nope. Vomiting? No. Nope. At sore muscles, extra tired or weakness? Yes. yes. Where is your proof? What does it say? It says, she feels chilled and weak. Very good. She feels chilled and weak. Fever? Yes. yes. Yes, as a matter of fact, it's 102, right? Swollen glands. No. Someone in the last class said yes. Now, we can assume, based on what we did with prevention, Pat, that she probably does have swollen glands, but has anyone actually checked her for swollen glands? No. No. So we cannot mark it down unless it's actually a fact that was written in their story. 